G'day folks. Um, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent a lot of your childhood thinking what would it be like to live in a castle. Well, I'm a Giracaster castle today. Uh, this video is going to focus entirely on the castle. I'm going to show you everything from the top to the bottom as much as I can get access to. I'm going to show you the castle walls, the, uh, the, the, the clock tower, the chapel, and I'm even going to show you the privy. So stick around. Um, lots of uh, really fascinating history here. Now before we get too far into the video, just a point, it's going to be a fair amount of um, voiceover and just video with this. Um, as you can see, probably a little bit of air movement going on. Uh, uh, it's a bit blowy. This is actually the least blowy it's been since I've been here, and so audio is just not working on site. So I'll do voiceovers and uh, tell you where we're at, what we're looking at, and uh, enjoy the video. So the first thing to mention regarding access to Jurocaster Castle is the... Uh, uh, the, there's actually two ways you can get up there. You can drive up, but if you do that, there's limited parking. So unless you really need to drive up, I wouldn't recommend that. The second option is to walk up. Uh, it's a fairly short walk, but it's pretty steep. Um, but it's uh, some pretty awesome views as you go. So my suggestion, take the walk. Immediately inside the entry to the castle, there's a museum display of old tanks and old artillery. There's no video of that because there's a no photography sign just as you come in. So, uh, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's um, artillery from over the wide range of years that this castle has been in operation. Well worth looking at. Jurcaster Castle has its origins back in the 12th century during the Ottoman Empire. That said, there are um, fortifications that have been uncovered from the 5th to 6th century. The clock tower was an addition made by Ali Pasha in the early 1800s and there were some expansions to some prison cells in 1932. Uh, the prison cells in Jurocaster Castle were used from 1932 onwards for uh, quite a while during the communist era. some strategic strengths due to its commanding views up and down the valley and it protected uh, multiple villages around the hillsides and around the, the base of the castle itself. This is one of the main entries into the castle. It's pretty cool to look at the, the nature of the roadway. Um, this is where a lot of supplies would have been brought in and where soldiers would have done their sorties out to respond to any threats in the valley. <music>
Okay guys, so that's a wrap for uh, Duracaster Castle. Um, I'm standing at the moment on the north end at the north gate, um, as far as you can go towards it at least. Uh, you can't go over this fence I'm standing on, standing at. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, well and truly worth coming. If you um, if you haven't been to Duracaster, you absolutely need to come here. There will be another video on the town itself, um, which will include what I uh, what I spent, um, where I stayed, uh, the, the restaurants, all that sort of stuff, uh, as well as a lot of the streets. Goes beautiful, beautiful city. So stick around for that video, and uh, like and subscribe, and um, hopefully uh, you'll get the chance to come here and uh, enjoy this for yourselves. All right, cheers.